Hello friends, welcome back to Death Valley National Park for another landscape photography vlog. In this video, I focus on capturing sand dunes with my handy dandy 100 to 400 lens and witness some pretty special moments. Really hope you enjoy the video. It's a uh, brisk morning right now. Beautiful, calm. But, uh, I'm looking at some just spectacular dune formations in the distance. Check out all these beautiful patterns catching this early morning light. And I see a lot of different compositions we can play around with the more we zoom in here and really isolate the ridges of the dunes. I love the colors here. I think one of my favorite things is just looking at the different... Good morning to you too, bird. Good morning. I completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> Uh, I'm very easily distracted in the mornings. I don't know how you guys are, but you know, you have your set times that you're, you feel like you're your best photographer. <laughs> and that for me is during the day or sunset. I'm never my best photographer uh, during sunrise. I'm always a little bit delirious and I'm waiting for some coffee to brew right now. Okay, back to it. It's, it's catching this just incredible warm light, this beautiful reflected warm light. And then the shadow side has a bit of a, almost like a purple hue to it. Really couldn't have asked for a better morning here right now. I mean, I've done, I've tried to get this shot during 20 mile per hour winds with the 100 to 400 lens and it was much less fun. This is, uh, couldn't have asked for better conditions right now for this. So here's my first image, and I just love the way that soft light ended up looking. With a little bit of contrast and some dodging and burning, I was really able to bring out a lot of different colors here. I love the mix of warmer tones, those bits of purple in the shadows, and even a little bit of the kind of silvery blue tones that spread out throughout the image. The 100 to 400 lens really allowed me to better compress the scene and focus in on these bits of patterns that created these nice waves. After shooting these images, I decided to wait for a little bit for that direct sunlight to hit the dunes. Oh, I can see the light cascading down the ridge out there in the distance. That light is gonna hit the dunes pretty soon here. Morning coffee. Cheers. Look at the way the light is raking across in the distance. This is beautiful. I, I don't know if a photo is really going to do justice to this, it, but it looks really beautiful out there. There it is. The light is starting on the dunes. That looks so incredible. Oh, it's happening so fast too. I need to be quick. I've got my timer on so that I can get a clean shot because I'm still doing slight long exposures. But this is, this is something else. Holy sh**. Look at that. Here's an image I had a lot of fun capturing, and I think it's that contrast of shapes here between the little bushes and the swirly patterns of the dunes up top. Here's something completely different, and if you follow the channel for a while, you know I don't do a ton of panoramas, or at least long horizontal panoramas, but I'm really glad I tried this one out. So this is four horizontal shots stitched together in Lightroom to make this very wide perspective of the dunes. I wasn't really sure how this panorama was going to look before stitching it, but I'm really happy with the way this came out. Here's another beautiful moment with that direct but pretty soft sunlight hitting the dunes. And again, just that contrast of warm light hitting the sides of the dunes with the cooler shadows on the opposite side was really a treat to witness and a blast to shoot.
One of my favorite things about this shoot specifically was playing around with the different lighting. I loved shooting some of that soft reflected light before sunrise, and then of course that dramatic moment where that direct light just spilled across the dunes was spectacular to witness. I'd be curious to know your thoughts. Which lighting situation do you like shooting in more? Do you like that soft reflected light that you get pre-sunrise? Or are you more of a fan of direct sunlight? Please let me know in the comments. I think that's gonna wrap it up for this. I'm gonna grab some breakfast and uh, see where the rest of the day takes me. Well, this might look familiar. <laughs> Back at the dunes for sunset. And uh, it's looking like a good one. Nice, clear blue sky day. Let's see if we can find some beautiful abstract patterns, shapes to focus on, and just have a good time. I think that there's something about this pattern right there. That looks kind of cool. It looks like little flames. There's something about the organization of the pattern that looks a little different from what I've seen before out here on the dunes. So, you know, we never know unless we take a photo. So I'm gonna grab the handy dandy Sigma 100 to 400. And looks like we're already ready to go with this guy. Man, it's just insane how fast things move when the light is this low. I mean, I had a shot that I kind of liked in there and then all of a sudden it was gone in seconds. It's crazy, you have to be so quick. Sometimes inspiration just kind of strikes you and other times you find yourself just searching around for hours and not really seeing what's actually right in front of you. You know what? I think I found something pretty cool here. So there's this big shadow being cast as the sun arcs to the right and it's blocking part of these ridges and it's creating these really cool spiky patterns that look like they're coming towards the camera, especially when I use the, the telephoto lens here. Let me show you what this looks like because I think it's pretty interesting. So you can see here, here's a little, just a little bit zoomed out, but you kind of zoom in here. Look at those, how, how sharp those tips are. I think that's really cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and compose a shot of this. Now, I tried the bottom section, but I don't think the, uh, the little spikes were quite as interesting. And that sun is dipping pretty quick, so I need to, need to get this shot pretty fast. And I don't really wanna do any sort of exposure blending or stacking or anything like that, so I'm just gonna do ISO 400 f16 and 160th of a second as much as i love capturing those dramatic dune vistas with the warm sunset light there is something so special about getting a little bit close up almost macro into just one of the dunes and focusing in on the edges between light and shadow. These spiky lines leading diagonally down through the image I thought were just so much fun and I like that little swoosh right in the middle of the image that kind of breaks it up a bit. Wow, look at that. So cool. Try one more shot. Admittedly, I wasn't sure if this image was going to come out while I was shooting it, but it was so fascinating to capture this one because it's almost as if split through the middle is like a mirror image, but it's really just the way this rolling dune dips through the middle, creating these really spectacular optical illusions. So this image specifically really ended up being one of my favorite images of the day.
Well, that was pretty cool. Let's see what else we can find. So, we got some incredible edge light on these dunes out in the distance. All these spiky peaks, and it's just all about isolating the right ones and creating some interesting shapes out of it. And look who I ran into. It's Mr. TJ Thorne shooting some awesome photography. Snap, snap. Snap, snap. Taking our clicks. Do, doing, a little, doing a little abstract dune photography, a little intimate work, right? So we're actually here for the Out of Chicago Conference. And we're both teachers. But uh, TJ and I have been friends for a, oh. 13, 14? Yeah. Eight years. Damn. That's scary to think of. That's gray. scary. To <laughs> you don't have the gray hair yet. I've got a few, I've got a few starting, but uh, I'm going to leave a link to his work in the description because if you haven't checked out TJ's work, you definitely should. We're going down, down the dune. As that sun started to dip lower and lower, that light got more and more dramatic out there in the distance. So I decided to pop my tripod down, capture a few images, and here's what I shot. pretty up here. I'm a little out of breath, but I think I'm going to try and get a shot from up here. So right now we're facing right into the sun, it's dipping below the mountains, or it's pretty close to dipping below the mountains, so we're getting this really dramatic edge light. It's pretty bright and vivid. Right before the sun dipped on the horizon, it created this incredible flare across some of the dune patterns. I managed to snap one frame that I really liked, and here it is. I absolutely loved the crisscrossing shapes here and the thin highlights across the tops of the dunes. I also felt like the flare here made for a really nice natural gradient that went from the top of the image down towards the bottom. Here's an image facing a little bit away from sunset during those same final moments before the sun dipped below the horizon, and you can see just how much that lighting changes when you face in a different direction, but you can still create some really cool images. Sun is now going down. It's like half over the mountain right now. And the light here is just getting so much softer, as you can see right here. We're getting those beautiful blue tones as well, which are some of my favorite for the dune. I kind of I kinda like those tones more than, than when the sun is out sometimes. And here's two more images that I shot after sunset. Dunes are truly a special place to me, and they're one of those places that I can go back year after year where I can always find something new, something intriguing, and it's just such a great way for me to express my creativity.
So that's going to wrap it up for this video, but make sure to stay tuned for my next Death Valley vlogs, because not only do I shoot even better Dune images, or at least in my opinion, but I also capture some incredible Badlands and some other images around Death Valley. As always, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.